Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to continue working with finding the missing addend. So our learning goal says, I can find the missing addend to make an equation true. So again, the materials you'll need for today's lesson are a dry erase board and your base 10 blocks. Remember, if you don't have your base 10 blocks, you can always draw them on your draw erase, dry erase board. All right, so let's start with 24 equals blank plus 11. So this is the same way that we would solve them from our previous lesson. The uh, sum is just in the beginning instead of our two add-ins are in the beginning. Don't let that throw you off. Just go ahead and solve the same way you normally would. So let's review. There's two ways you can solve with models or subtraction. So let's do models first. So here we have 11, and then we're going to count on until we get to 24. So we're at 11, add a 10, that gives us 21. 31, oh, too many because I have to stop at 24. So we're at 21, 22, 23, 24. So now we can stop and we count how many we have. And how many friends do I have in my red circle? 13, you're right. All right, so let's try it with subtraction as well. So here you're going to set up your problem. We're going to take the sum and subtract the addend that we know, and that should give us our missing addend. So we can start in the ones place, four ones. If I take away one one, I'm left with three ones. Move to the tens place. I have one ten take away, I'm sorry, two tens take away one ten is one ten. So we have 13 as well. So our missing add end is 13. So 13 plus 11 equals 24. Remember, you can check that by actually doing and solving this problem. So you could come down here and you could solve 13 plus 11. If I get 24, which is the sum, then I have correctly identified that missing addend. So in the ones place, three plus one is four. And in the tens place, one 10 plus another 10 equals two tens. And I got 24, whoop, whoop. So that means that I solved this correctly for the missing addend. All right, so let's take a look at another one here, friends. So we have the two ways, 46 plus blank, which is our unknown, equals 72. You can solve using models or subtraction. Go ahead and pause the video. You can solve both ways if you'd like, or at least make sure you solve one way, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here's how I solve them. So I know one of my missing add or my known add end is 46. I'm going to model that first, and then I'm going to count on until I get to 72 to find my missing add end. So I'm at 46, 56, 66, 76. Oh, again, I went too far, so I can't add that 10. So now I'm at 66, and I'm going to add ones on top of it. So 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. So I can stop there. And friends, how many did you get for using this method with your models? How many do we have in our red circle? 26. All right, let's try with our subtraction to see if we get the same number. So we're gonna start with our sum and subtract the add end that we do know. So our problem would look like this, 72 minus 46. So you're gonna solve this problem by starting in the ones place. Well, I have two ones, I can't take away six. So I need to decompose a 10. I'm gonna take one of those 10s, and now that turns into six, and one 10 turns into 10 ones. So 10 ones plus two ones gives me 12 ones. Now I have enough to subtract. So I know that 12 minus six equals six, and six minus four equals two. So look at that, friends. I got 26 in both methods that I used to solve this problem. So I can go ahead and say that 26 is my missing add end. Now remember, you can subtract, or I'm sorry, you can check your work by solving this problem. So you would say 46 plus 26. If that equals 72, then you solved for the missing add end correctly. If not, then you need to go back and look at your work for either the models or the subtraction method. All right, here's one more for you, friends. So this time we're starting with our missing add end. So blank plus 32 equals 97. But don't let that fool you, friends. We're going to start with the same methods. We can either use the models or the subtraction. You're going to pause the video, solve using either strategy that you'd like, or both if you want to, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All 
All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. So with the models method, I'm going to start with the add end that I do know, which is 32. And I'm going to count on until I get to 97. So we're at 32. Let's add some tens. 42, 52, 62, 72, 82, 92, 102. Oh, wait a minute. Too far again. Oop, take that one away. So we're at one, or sorry, we're at 92. So 93, 94, 95, 96, 97. So how much do I have here in my oval now, friends? Yeah, 65. Okay, so let's try the subtraction method. Remember, starting with the sum to be able to subtract, because you have to start with the largest number with subtraction. So it would be 97 minus 32. Well, I know that 7 minus 2 is 5 in the 1's place, and in the 10's place, 9 minus 3 is 6. So look, check that out, friends. 65 is our missing add end. What I want you guys to do is I want you to pause and solve or double check your work using addition to make sure that our two add ends total or have a sum of 97. So go ahead and pause the video. You're going to add 65 and 32 and see if you get 97 and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. So 65 plus 32, I'm going to add the ones place. 5 plus 2 is 7. And in the tens place, 6 plus 3 equals 9. So because those two add ends equal 97, just like in my problem up in yellow at the top, then I correctly identified the missing add ends. So way to go, friends. You guys nailed it with finding the missing add end. Great job, friends. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends!